Hey there. Springboks fans, we've got some serious drama to unpack from the Rugby World Cup final between New Zealand and our beloved Springboks. The game took an unexpected turn when New Zealand's captain, Sam Kane, became the first player to be sent off in a men's Rugby World Cup final. So, in the first half of the epic showdown at the Stade de France, Sam Kane's shoulder made contact with the head of Jesse Creel. The referee, Wayne Barnes, initially showed him a yellow card, but wait for it. The TMO bunker stepped in, and that yellow was quickly upgraded to a red card. The foul play review officer made the call that it was a shoulder direct to the head with significant force and not enough mitigation to keep it as just a yellow card. After the review was done, Barnes delivered the bad news to stand-in skipper Ardi Subba, who was in total shock going, to red. Kane's reaction? Well, he was seen in agony on the touchline, closing his eyes and rocking back on his chair. Now, what's the deal with head contact and high tackles in rugby? The laws around this come under Law 9 of the Laws of Rugby Union, which covers foul play. It's pretty clear. Players must not do anything reckless or dangerous to others, and that includes leading with the elbow or forearm or tackling above the line of the shoulders. And if a player breaks these laws and it's deemed reckless or dangerous, the referee can issue a yellow or red card. Now, Sam Kane's red card sure caused quite the debate. Some legends of the game like Brian O'Driscoll and Sean Fitzpatrick were pretty clear about it. O'Driscoll said there's no doubt it deserved a red card, and Fitzpatrick, well, he reluctantly agreed, saying, we've got to get on with it. Player welfare is at the heart of these decisions, and especially when there's head contact, it's taken very seriously. The focus is on the actions, not just the injury. The need for a head injury assessment doesn't necessarily mean there's been illegal head contact. So, Springboks fans, what's your take on this red card and the laws around head contact? Was it the right call, or should there have been more leniency in such a high-stakes match? Share your thoughts in the comments. Give us a like if you're on the edge of your seat for the final, and make sure to subscribe to Springboks News for all the thrilling updates. Let's keep the rugby chatter going.